A city in mourning just two days after nine lives were taken inside of a Charleston, South Carolina church. And now, those who know the suspected gunmen are coming forward. He said that he, he, he thought that the black, the black uh, in general, as a race, was bringing down the white race. A roommate claiming the gunman, 21-year-old Dylan Roof, shared with him his plans for murder six months before the attack. But I think we all have a moral obligation to come forward with information if we have it. And as for whether Roof's roommate will face criminal charges for not reporting what he knew. Typically, there aren't any criminal charges that can be filed for just complacency, unless you aid and abet or somehow assist somebody. Jacksonville Police Chief Tony Groton says knowing about a crime before it's committed well, isn't uncommon. I mean, some people won't give the information if they, if, if they believe that their name is going to be used. And some of it's in fear of having to come to court and testify. Groton and dispatchers say there are several ways you can make an anonymous report. If any time that you have a suspicion or you know anything that doesn't feel right or set right with you, we take calls all the time. You don't have to tell us who you are. We don't ask where you are. Dispatchers say they closely depend on the public to report what they see. In the case of Roof's roommate, Groton says serious tragedies like these can be prevented with a phone call. It could have been forwarded anonymously to like the FBI. Then they would investigate it just like they do the terrorist acts, you know, or the, the, the terrorist investigations even before they make an act. Here at the 911 call center, dispatchers say every caller can remain anonymous by choice. Several counties throughout central Illinois also have crime stopper organizations you can call and also remain anonymous by doing so. Reporting live in Springfield, Michelle London, News Channel 20.